Let's not bring that up anymore, please. What what are you what are you talking about? See? <laughs> even no. Should we just look at a card real quick? Off camera? Roll it. Pick Roll one. that beautiful bean footage. Pick one and then Hey, I'm Stevie Lovis. I'm Rick the Drummer. I'm this Kenny is Kenny Sinatra. Sinatra. Hi. <laughs> and we're talking shit. What is it? So we came in today, we're kinda late. Um and so we've been using these pod deck things. And we just pulled one. And we've been doing this kind of at the end of our end of our run, but we did it at the top this time, and this is a good one. So the the card says, uh, "What's the worst job you've ever had?" Oh, oh shit! So, <laughs> Kenny, what do you got? Um, God, I don't even know how old I was. I, uh, I was a gas station attendant in the booth. Oh shit! In and the center of the island. In, yeah. Okay. And I had training for like an hour. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I didn't know how to prepay. Like when the oh, uh -oh. I went yeah. I gotta say, you know, hey, you're just gonna have to go pump and then get <laughs> money. <laughs> they go, I wanna tell you, uh, you know what? It's broke. I don't know, it's not it's not letting me prepay. <laughs> it's free <today. laughs> And how, then, how long did you work there? God, like a week. Oh, really? <laughs> a week. Like, I can't do that. And then the smell was getting to me. I was very sensitive back then. I had sensitive olfactory Back then? <laughs> but um, I couldn't handle the gas smell, man. It was just too much. Yeah, I, I imagine that was... It was, it was, it was, it was, whew, it was potent sometimes. Yeah, I'd imagine but that. But the, be the best was, the best was, yeah, I don't know how to pre <laughs> You're going to have to go pump first and then come back. Oh, man. <laughs> or that guy who, like, wants a... I don't know. There's like this weird thing I noticed that my dad used to do. He'd pay over so that way he'd get like, you know. That too. That <laughs> threw me off too. <laughs> I, hate that. I mean, that was like, what, 18? Right. 7 to 18. I go, what the? What? Can't you, I just give you the chains that my just, cash register says to give you? Dude, just give me fucking 20, man. You're right. Me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you giving me 35 or, or what? You know, it was, it was something crazy. Just so crazy. I can give you four $1 it was bills just back? Yeah, it was just something crazy. Yeah. It's like, dude, come on. Really, dude? Yeah. So it was like a week. I'm out. <laughs> I can't do this. Uh, I will find other means. I can't do I'm going to go work at the Christmas tree lot down the road. Which was an amazing job. That was fun. Especially since it was like July. <laughs> <laughs> starting, starting early, man. I wanted to get them... I yeah, didn't think this went out that well. Trees. You got to trim them trees. Goddamn bro. trees growing. <laughs> Shit, shit, you guys had one <laughs> sip of your girl drinks. <laughs> I'm not drinking a girl drink. Oh my what god. Do you, what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's all like duct tape down. <laughs> like, no, it's all duct tape. Gap tape. Are you crying? Yeah, I was laughing. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Have you been drinking already? Right? No. I was at work. Christ. Oh, that's even. That's, that's real fucking soothing. You like these? Mm hmm. Passion fruit, what do you have? Passion fruit. Oh my god. So a couple of girl drinks. <laughs> right? Fruit. This is like the worst ever. No. This is like White Claw. I, I haven't had that. Well, you're drinking one. I'm good with it. Low calories, booze. Sign me up. <laughs> okay, Rick. Anyway. Yeah. Worst job. Uh, okay. Drummer for Royal Rebels. It, it's a toss up. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Music comes. <laughs> Jesus. No, I quit the, that was music gig. That's true. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's a toss-up. So when I was in high school, I worked oh, at a laundry. God, that's horrible. Like yeah. a laundry? Like a... Like a commercial laundry. We like like a fast Oh. Yeah. Okay. Not like a, you know, like a about but, 50 yeah. little... No, no, no. Yeah. Not a coin-op thing. This is like a commercial... We did hotels and... Oh God, dude! And it's really? just—it's hot and humid. It's like—it's like working in, living in Florida. <laughs> God, that's that whole laundry thing sounds awful. I had the lucky side. I got it after it was washed. Yeah, that is the lucky side. Hospital oh. linens as oh, they come in. God, dude. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. So many fluids. Oh, so many fluids. Like, you know, oh. Fluids you don't even know existed. Oh my I do now being on the other end of right. it. Yeah, like, yeah. I made that one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so oh, now it's <laughs> so now it's not You're so bad. You're gonna put a disclaimer on this one. <laughs> Makes my stomach hurt. Now it's not so bad because like these days, 
I'm like, I know where this is going. Some some kid is gonna have to deal with this. Oh god, <laughs> that's gross. And you can laugh about it because you did it. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I like like deliberately get like twelve towels just to sop up blood and stuff. <coughs> that's going into somebody's job. Oh god. But I can do that with a clean conscience because I started from there. Damn, you you might just be the winner. What about you? Mm. That's that's the that's like tied with working at Discovery Zone. <laughs> you worked at Discovery what? Zone. <laughs> <laughs> I had to clean all their balls. You know what's <laughs> the ball? Like, <laughs> but you're good at washing balls, balls, aren't you? <laughs> you seem pretty happy with it. <laughs> Can't complain. Oh, See, my God. I got a resume. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> They had a sip of white claw. <laughs> talking, talking shit brought to you by Truly. <laughs> my God, we're not sponsored. Oh, however, we, we, we'll take some free. We'll take some free. selling out. Can we beep that? No. Okay. Why? We're we're open to selling out. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what about you? What about you? It doesn't compete with with that <laughs> right? by any means. And I'm and I'll, I'll probably mean. and I'll probably catch holy hell for this right. But the worst job I I, I ever had. Um, was Tower Records. Hmm. I hated it, dude. I, I went in there thinking it was gonna be like this, like like I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was gonna be oh music and Tower Records and this big iconic thing and and uh, dude, it sucked. It was fuck. It was awful. <laughs> I hated every fucking minute of it. Oh. Like from the time I started till I couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. It was and it was nothing like you imagine working in a record store. It was like. Not now, like Empire Records. No, it was definitely Nothing not like that. that. Yeah. Not, not in the least. <laughs> you know, we're, it, oh, that's. And funny. then, so, you know, the problem was, dude, is that some people really liked it, I guess, but um, they were very clicky, right? And it was like some new person came in, and it was like, yeah, fuck that person. You, you never got a chance. So they, gotta get, they get hazed and all that. You gotta. Yeah, it was shit. fucked up, dude. It was, it was awful. I hated it. I fucking hmm. hated it. Yeah, you'd think you'd like it. And uh, it sounds like a Wizard of Oz moment. Like you, you just it was just unveiled and it's like shit I just saw it with, mm. oh god dude I didn't I, didn't I don't like, like it. what the reality of this job is I didn't like it at all at all did you get new ones I just noticed that no there's like just different ones um so we did so we did worst jobs what I imagine what about your favorite job like I know we all have, have done different things you're doing something currently you're doing something currently you know I don't know if that's your favorite job now or if there was something like, how about like your favorite job from when you were a kid? Like, getting to where you are now. Oh, ice cream uh, factory. You worked at ice cream really? factory. Yeah. Like yeah. A, the factory factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, commercial. Yeah. Not not like in a Swenson's or uh, Thirty One Flavors. It was like a. I worked in the dairy. So hmm. I'm going to college up in Washington, right? And um, took on a summer job there, I know, just to you know, help with help with the tuition and. Um, there, there was an opening at the dairy. Like, uh, it was the highest paying one. And I'm thinking, like, great. I never <laughs> ever wanted to work with cows. <laughs> but, yeah. okay. Did it you was, milk them? No, no. And that's the great thing. I go down to their office, and they say, yeah, it's actually working here in the plant, uh, in the ice cream department. Tell me more. <laughs> I had to work in the ice cream department for like six hours a day, for basically from lunch till six. <laughs> and, um, Made all kinds of ice cream, like five gallon, you know, these massive. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. You like go to some of those uh, really boutique ice cream places. You'll see the machines in there. Yeah. And they got it looks like this big old lawnmower thing they called a dasher. They mix it up, but you're like dumping gallons of just straight cream with sugar hmm. in, and it was just like, oh, wow, man. And that, that was, was cool. That was a cool job. Like for really you. Well, oh, it was. It, it was up in. Uh, the high desert of Washington, so 100 degrees outside, yeah. 62 degrees inside. Cool. Oh, nice. nice. Yes. So it was a very cool job. And then, whatever you wanted to take home. Wow. Oh, even better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> How about you? Uh, Toys R Us. Yeah. I had a blast there. What? Because back then, I was collecting toys. Yeah. So all the new shit would come in. We'd hork it first. We'd go, oh, fuck, right on. Taking that. Taking that. Cabbage patch. Yeah, I was there for that craze. I was there for the Power Ranger craze. Yeah. T uh, Tickle Me Elmo. Did you work at the haunted one? No, but I had a friend there that did. <laughs> yeah. And she said some shit. Yeah. Went down. Wait, 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 wait. Which one did you work at? Blossom Hill. 
Oh, yeah. That was it's my favorite. Fun. It's sad now that Toys R Us is gone. Uh, yeah, I hear it's coming back, though. I, I doubt it's going to come back in the capacity that it was. No, I don't think how it was, but... But yeah, that was a fun job. That was... We... we fuck, we... Do you guys notice how Orchard Supply, like, it's gone, and now it's back as outdoor supply hardware? Yeah. So it's still Osh? Yeah. You been yeah. in one yet? Yeah. Doesn't feel the same, does it? No. It Almost looks the same. It's 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 much bigger and much more corporate. It feels like really? whereas Orchard Supply felt kind of more homey. Yeah, like co like homey. corner hardware yeah. store. Mom and pop. Yeah. Mom and pop uh, hardware. Yeah. 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 It does not have the same feel. The colors are the same. Really? Yeah. yeah it yeah. doesn't have the same feel. You might as well just go to Home Depot or whatever the fuck. It's the same shit. <laughs> no. I, I I I don't know enough to go to Home Depot because that's where like the. It seems like they expect you to know a lot more about well, your. Because they don't know shit. Yeah. Well, they don't let you know. They're they're just fronting out there. <laughs> yeah. What do you need? Yeah. Do you need thirty second sixteenths? They don't know fuck all. Dude. I don't know what the hell I need. It fits in with the. That's why I'm part. coming here. Yeah, I want. <laughs> they I want the know. idiots guide the home improvement. Well, they, they yeah yeah. I, I can't. Uh, you know what? They don't know fucking shit. <laughs> they, they don't know fuck all. Oh uh, yeah. I, Toys R Us was fun. Send um, send all hate mail to Bill and Arrow. That's how I got into wrestling too. Yeah. Toys R Us. Yeah. So I was stock. I was always. I always did stocked the wrestling the, section. The 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 uh, fuck is Stretch Armstrong? Yeah, but it was like all the W W. What was it back then? WWF. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys. Did you have those ones? I think so. I don't oh, the stretchy arms. But this dude comes in and goes, "Hey, you got any Bret Hart figures?" And I go, "Yeah, I got some." He goes, okay. "So I went and got them and." Turned out he was a promoter for Big Time Wrestling in Newark. Oh yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, "Hey, thank you. Want you want you come down, come down this weekend, and um, we're doing a signing with Bret Hart, and you can the you Hitman, know, the Hitman. I'll have you meet him." Fuck, all right. So me and the girlfriend at the time, we went down there and met Bret, and I had my Calgary Hitman <laughs> hockey jersey because he he's the owner of the Calgary Hitman, and which I still have that jersey, <clears throat> and uh, met him and. From that day, that's how we got involved with the independent wrestling. We were, I, I was. Isn't it I, funny how like just I helped out a chance and, meeting like that, yeah, and just being and, cool to people. And every episode, or every episode, every ma every show, we would work the merch table and sell all this shit, and we'd get to meet all the wrestlers. But see, you've, some, seen, you've seen my book. Yeah, oh, but, but there's a prime example of <clears throat> the whole "don't be a dick" thing, right? Because it's a chance meeting with somebody. Yeah. You know, led you to, to working with you know this independent wrestling company. And that led, ended up having drinks with beers with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Undertaker. But yeah, you jealous, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that that's another show. We got to have him on. Yeah, yeah. And then go to a little bit more of the wrestling. I'm I can learn a lot. I'm not like I, I remember the wrestling from the '80s. Not really See, what that's, it's turned that's into That's what I'm into. And I and speaking I, of wrestlers, look at this. Look at this guy. Come on in here. Look at this guy, looking like a guy. Come on, Eli Elias. You're gonna, you're gonna have to walk with Elias. Have to squeeze him mm -hmm. a little bit. Come over here, honey bunny. I'm more of a super fly. You look like Elias. <laughs> oh, what the hell, Elias? What's going on? <laughs> Anybody want the peanut? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about. Um, we're talking about what your favorite job was, brother. Best jobs, shitty jobs, brother. Okay. We started off. What was your worst job ever, brother? <laughs> Where's Stevie going? I'm gonna adjust this so he's, that he's. I thought he got mad and about it. Best job or worst what was your job? Worst worst started what was your worst job growing up? Yeah, we started with the worst job. Hold on, motherfucker. Uh, I'm not done. I ain't uh, done my fucking best oh, job yet. Oh, oh shit. You just get me like a fucking... Oh, Andrew shows up and... Ah, oh, fuck There's you. There's a new host to this. Son of a bitch. Why can't you ever get in line, Stevie? <laughs> Come on, pull it together, Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> you see what these kids are drinking? Oh, shit. Yeah. Passion fruit. Yeah, that's... Passion fruit, fucking seltzer drink. Hard. For the record, I didn't bring them. It's no, probably, I did. It's probably going to affect you about as much as my energy <laughs> drink. That's, that's why I brought 12. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you, worst job. No, you. I'll, I'll, we'll go back around. Okay. Um, worst job. Well, one time I was in between jobs, hard up for cash, so I took this job for uh, Mobile Modular. They're the ones that make like those. Um, modular units you see at the construction sites or sometimes you'll see them at festivals and yeah, they'll yeah. be packed with urinals and all yep. kinds of stuff. <clears throat> so our job was to get them back in, clean them, make them look brand new and uh, kind of kind of start over. So I worked there, I was there two weeks 
and I was like painting the outsides, you know, putting black on the tires, making them look new and stuff. And then um, one morning, um, this big old long thing came in, and I could smell it coming in. I'm oh. like, what is what is this? Hey, Andrew, uh, that one's you, and you get on that one next. I was like, all right. I walk in, and it must have been like 20 urinals and like four stalls, and this thing was just beat and, and disgusting. So I was like, all right. This came from the bacon festival. Yeah, so <laughs> literally I, uh, I started cleaning the outside. And like, when are you going to jump in there and do the inside? Huh? Do the outside first. Outside first. I'm just trying to buy my time to lunch, you know. Lunch came and I never came back. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even bother collecting the check. I was just like, you know what, man? I'm out. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> no. That was like me at the gas station. Oh, I'm calling out today. Never came back. Which is crazy because, you, know, um, you know, I've been running music venues and bars and restaurants yeah. for so long. You know how, how many times I've had to, like, clean a urinal someone threw up or yeah, something, yeah, you know? yeah. and I always get like uh, as a GM you got to be able to show everybody that you're able to do it and I always tell them you get one because like, oh I don't want to do it I don't I watch out get gloves get in there yeah. do it. that's how you do it right you see me do it now don't ever say you can't do it yeah, yeah. you know yeah. if I do your job I don't need you you know yeah but, but you also lead by example right I, I mean, was just gonna say but that, 20 yeah. of them yeah no yeah but <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah best job best job um, is that possible? Like, the, like, it could be, like, anything from, you know, from you started working, like, you know, what was the, like, the most enjoyable thing you, you've done? Like, I mean, Rick had, Rick, Rick worked at an ice cream store, Kenny worked at Toys R Us. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Andrew worked at the puppy place, and you, uh, sold white panel vans. <laughs> that sounds like a great combination! <laughs> <laughs> Toys, ice cream, puppies, and... <laughs> And now, Dude, we're, now we're a full band. You are cut <laughs> off. And now, and now we're on like every watch list in the country. So, I'll say a few uh, key words. Um, yeah, none of us can fly. Better. <laughs> none of us can ever fly again. Thanks a lot, Ben. I mean, <laughs> Run and Venues has its moments, you know? Yeah. When there's just like a, a show that's just absolutely magic. Yeah. And, and you know that you're at the helm making it all happen, you know, like... You know, yeah. get to sit there in the control room. So you know, I used to do sound a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some big bands. So there was moments where like those things were really, really great. Yeah, agreed. I don't think anything was ever quite as fun as I used to work for this place called um, Kinetic uh, U.S. Wind Power. They do like all the. They made a lot of the uh, windmills up in the uh, Altamont Pass. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had, man, I think I had just turned 18 or I was about to turn 18, and I was with my buddy Lance. He got me the job there. And uh, I started like kind of running like the warehouse section, like the shipping receiving area. Um, totally young kid. I'm driving a forklift that's like bigger than this. It's like a two-story forklift, and it's like really wide. And uh, the, the the things that collect the energy off these windmills are called nacelles, the and they're like half a million dollars. This big copper wire, wire turbine things that collect all this energy in it. And I'm driving around this big uh, blacktop. Just picking them up in the forklift and just cruising around, swinging around, <laughs> driving on. And then I had this huge crane that, for some reason, I, I can't. I, I don't. I, literally, when they told me that I was going to be doing this, I, I said, "Are you sure?" I'm like, you, "You know, I'm like barely 18, right? You got to learn sometime." And I had this big crane. I would lift them up. I'd drive them up there, lift them up, and then put them on people's semis and let them strap them down. <laughs> so, nice. You know how many times I've seen like these, like you know. Old, old, like, rock people, copies. you know what I mean? Just, oh, what do you, be careful, kid, what do you, you know, like, yeah, that yeah. kind of shit. Oh, I got it, I got it. You, this thing be a swing back and forth. Um, but that job was a lot of fun because, uh, you know, be honest, man, everybody that was important would leave early, right? Yeah. And then we had the whole warehouse to ourselves, yeah. and we'd have forklift wars, like, <laughs> shooting each other with pellet guns and stuff. I mean, yeah. it was just, yeah, it you was, do the forklift job. And it was all, like, double talk. Yeah, I mean, those kind of jobs. Huh? Forklift jousting. Oh, we, we, we're we complete idiots, oh. you know. Yeah. Forklifts. Complete idiots. Oh, we, get, we put it on two wheels. We see all right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. What about you? Round table pizza. Because it was the same, same kind of thing. It was Best the, or worst? The best. best. Oh, okay. We did my worst. Pay you attention, weren't paying attention. Dude. How many soft seltzers have you had? Right? <laughs> <laughs> he had a sip, dude. He, he had a sip himself. and he started crying. Twice as potent as his normal sea breeze, right? so he's in trouble. Right, his sea breeze, yeah. dude. <laughs> Bartles and James over here. Yeah, Round Table Pizza, it was just, you know, we were a bunch of kids. <gasps> and we were all friends and we all worked there. And it was yeah. like, um, it was like the rock and roll round table. You know, we were all in Smoke bands. And, and just fucking hung out. And, <laughs> you know, it was 
fucking there was there was a we had a bar there, and so you can imagine, you know, your friends would come in and right. yeah, that was a good time, dude. Uh, it's probably like you know, looking back, you know, while you're there, it's like oh, this fuck sucks. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But looking back now, it was like fuck, that was yeah, bad. So bad. Yeah. 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 Kind of like school, you know. Once you get out of school, you're like, oh, yeah, it's just like that. Horrible. Just like that. Yeah. It's like because that's you know, it's such a big part of your social life and stuff. Yeah. And, um, I feel like I was I was never there, but when I was there, I, it was cool. <laughs> I remember in high school, I didn't have a job in high school, but all my friends worked at Togos. Oh yeah. So number nine, we'd always hot number seven. Friday nights, yeah. Saturday nights, we'd all go there. That's your new clothes. nickname, Hot Seven. Hot you know, number, seven. Fine. number Seven. And then uh, <laughs> we just kick back and get sandwiches and cokes, and then they close up, and yeah, we go across the street to the big grocery store and get a big old block of ice, and we go ice blocking. Oh yeah, we used to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the fairways, I'd go into golf courses and get chased by the. That was before people. color TV. Yeah, so you didn't have a whole lot to do back then. Right? <laughs> what? Have you never went ice blocking? <laughs> Sorry. Did you ever go ice blocking? <laughs> no. Oh, man, that's a <laughs> bet. We you couldn't get, afford get, it. We get, get cardboard. No, dude, you get a block of ice <laughs> and you put a towel on it, and, and <laughs> you, you sit on it and, and you just stairs. fucking coast down the. <laughs> yeah, down the fairways. <laughs> Beer in your hand and. Cool. But anyway, Togo's was their job. I know this. Yeah. Anyway. Good times. Yeah, it was fun. Do you think kids these days have fun doing those kinds of jobs? No. No. It's like the 80s. I'm sure the 70s were probably just as fun without as much rules and stuff or just regulations. But like the jobs we had as teenagers. I think I think the rules are, are a lot stricter. I think there's a lot yeah. more oversight than there was. I mean, because it would be like, I'm 17 years old and I'm handing the keys to this store and it's like, okay, well... Later. Dude, yeah. Don't burn the place down. Right. Check, check this out. Yeah. I got my first job. Okay, it was McDonald's. It was at the Stone Ridge Mall. Yeah. I was 13. What? I was and 14. My, That's against the law. On my third day, they made me manager. That's against the law. <laughs> my job was to tell people when they could go on break, write down their yeah. food. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, I was 14. Taco Bell, dude. Yeah. 14 years old. I yeah. never worked at a fast food place. Really? Never. Dude, dude, I've, only had, had hired, so. I've only had five jobs my whole life. Four jobs. Privilege. No, not privileged. What's that supposed to mean? I've had four jobs at one time, dude. Dick. <laughs> That's actually why Don't I got a job me. when I when I was thirteen. All, all my friends had like uh, um, like these home stereo units, you know, where, like that play the records because right at that time Columbia House was hot. You know? Yeah, yeah, and dude. I I'd sign up to like five different ones. Me yep. too, I had nothing to play them on. Paid. All my never friends, paid. like their parents, would buy them like home stereo units. You know, so I asked my mom and and and, uh, and, and stepdad, and they're like, no, nah, man. <laughs> No, yeah. but but you know Johnny's got one. Yeah, uh, we don't fucking care. Yeah, you're not Johnny. Yeah, you want one? Go go get a job. Yeah. And I was like, all right. So I remember scouring. I went to every place in the mall, and the only place. Now check this out. I think the reason why I got the job, and I I, be, I became a manager on the third day because I cleaned the garbage room that was just complete crap. Right, I made it look like a, like a like a steam room at like a nice gym. It was immaculately clean. The guy was so impressed. He made me manager. Right, so the <laughs> third day, worked hard three days and then the rest of it was easy. But one day they came in and they arrested this guy. He looked like a tall Kurt Cobain. Look. Hair and everything, skinny, right? This guy had two different Ferraris he would drive to, to work. And to I was McDonald's. Like, yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a McDonald's one day. That's where the money's at, right? Uh, yeah, no. because you're 13, you're thinking, no, oh yeah. that's not where the money's at. He was selling heroin. Nice. Happy Meals? He was that's a like a fucking deal, movie, dude. Right? Did yeah. you drop him in Happy Meals or hand him out? Right? They came in and arrested him, man. Eh? We're gonna wow. cut this with some done. fries. <laughs> wow, Jeez, dude. No yeah. wonder the fries are so good. Yeah. Jesus. Like the onions. The, the, those little, yeah, the little diced, the little diced, diced onions. onions. Yeah, oh, I love those. No pickles, though. No, I can't even. Oh my god! No. You're just like Jordan. Don't just like me. Don't even. Is that your comfort? Food? Don't even like if I order something, and I say no pickles, but then there's pickles on it. Oh yeah. Man. Mm -hmm. You can't eat it. Mm -hmm. Ruined, huh? It's already tainted. Yeah. Pickle you juice. can't pick it up? There's, no, because it already... It's no! The it's the, the juice. tainted with pickle So juice. check this out. Brine. Just like you with pickles, I hate cucumbers. And for the reason is my mom used to make these cucumber sandwiches. And, and we, we were pretty poor, man. I'll just say that one time. Um, so she'd make it on a paper plate. After she made her cucumber sandwich, she'd make my peanut butter and jelly sandwich on her fucking cucumber plate. Uh, so right? I would take a bite and there'd be like cucumber juice. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, yeah. oh And mustard. <laughs> So now you got now and you people got, say scrape it off, but you can't because it's already tainted. Yeah. You like mustard, pickle, and mustard residue. Hey, I'm good with mustard, but I understand no, the concept. No, no, no here's, here's, here's my here's my here's my thing. little onions, like on corn dogs, only ketchup. Here's my thing with mustard, right? Uh, so, like mustard in a bottle, 
You no. go to squirt it. If you don't shake it, oh, water. Water. And you get the mustard water. water. And you get the mustard water. Well, same thing with sour cream. I'm the out. Pre, the pre mustard. I'm out. Like <laughs> the pre mustard. Pre mustard. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Well, am I am I right? Yeah, I mean, it's the you're right, but you're not. Oh, so not right. And then, and then the mustard. Right. Next time I have dinner with After my family, I'm gonna just be busting up. What are you laughing at? I can't, I can't, I can't do the pre-mustard, man. No, it's the whole the whole shit. Catch up the same way. You gotta shake it up. Before, so that way you can get all the mustard. You know what, dude? No, dude, no. <laughs> you are cut off. Cut bro. him off. You are cut off, Jeez. Rick. And I, okay. I think there's only like two sips out of here, man. Right? <laughs> I need a straw because I'm next light. Look at him, he's crying. Look at him. Jesus. All right, well, <laughs> that was me and Andrew and a couple of girls hanging out. Toodles. Talk shit, right? <laughs> Talk shit. <laughs> without without <laughs> shit. Don't shit. You don't get it. Don't you don't talk shit. You don't get it. Cause I'm a bad motherfucker. Two birds, dogs. Dynamite my hands. You better watch me.